Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, okay, All post right. scarcity. What are your pronouns? I mean, so, I mean, I'm just generally against... Pronouns. Like, oh, pronouns, sorry. Uh, they, them is good. He, okay. him is also... Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's get you up on here. Sorry, don't mean to be rude. I just, you kind of took off on a tear there. All right. I don't know, it's, it's fine. Okay. All right, so um, you don't want to regulate the an app that will send armed guards at will that run parallel to the police that would inevitably increase crime in every place that it's used, a subscription service for a gig economy police force. That, let me get that straight. You don't think that that should be regulated? I mean, I believe that should be regulated in the same way that like Securitas and all the other private, you know, security forces are regulated, right? <laughs> like the difference between a citizen and Securitas is, is just a, a matter of like interface through, you know, smartphone and it's like an, a gig economy instead of an official business, right? That's no, subcontracts. no, there's a couple of different things because see, now Securitas uh, doesn't respond to crimes. Securitas guards private property, which is one thing. You're entitled, anybody's entitled to fucking guard their own property or hire someone to guard their own property. We're not talking about guarding property. We're talking about a dynamic force that comes and, and, um, and arrives uh, in order to respond to perceived crimes. And they're being supported by the cops. This is dystopian. This is horrible. Uh, but again, they this literally is, this brand themselves as private law enforcement. Yeah, but this is already how security tasks work, right? Like, so for example, like a lot no. of downtown, a lot of downtown places, for example, hire security tasks, but they're not actually there all the time. So someone in the in the condo building sees someone like you know doing something reckless in their property, sure. they call security tasks, and then security tasks comes to the location and they uh -huh. you know get rid of the person, right? So sure. again, it's it's not very different from that service. So I, I mean, just, I think it's pretty like, different when you have people running around with an app that they're paying monthly for for a pri yeah. for an armed private security force. I think that's pretty different. Also, but again, usually Securitas. Now, not always. It depends on the on the work. But usually Securitas is not um, armed. I think they usually at most will have tasers, and that's like like if there's if it's a higher security area. But these are armed. We're talking about armed, roving. I mean, it depends on the state. Marked. There's many states that have security tasks have are allowed to be armed. Some states yeah. don't. But like my general point, though, so you but you is, don't even see a problem with like massive like with you don't already see a problem with private security in general. My like my I have problem with private security my problem in is already. with re, my problem is with reactionary legislation. So what I want to do is discourage people from wanting to have to pay people wait, like citizen to even like, exist, right? But that's silly though. I, these these no, apps, but I want these systematic apps create, legislation but, but that help for people. That's not I don't going want to fix it. It's not going to fix it. These allowing these types of apps to exist will. Like, okay, so you're familiar with, like, broken windows policing, right? You're, you're familiar with, like, algorithmic yes. policing, right? Like, the idea yes. that, like, algorithmic policing has, has been heavily criticized because the problem is, is that the more they study a single area, the more crimes they catch, then, they, then it increases more police to that area, then those police, the presence of that police inevitably shows an increase in crime because they're catching more random things that otherwise wouldn't have been noticed, and then that increases the crime in that area, which increases the police, which keeps going and keeps going, and eventually yes. you have a neighborhoods that are just, like, war zones because there's just cops cruising around at all times arresting anybody that they think is suspicious. Yeah. And the, yeah. Yes, I agree with you, but right. I, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm so this trying is to this is an app example, that's going the, to be doing that, but yes. doubling down. I, I'm I, the thing I worry about is that it seems like you're overweighing the influence of, uh, like broken like broken window policing with the effects of you know income inequality and poverty, right? So if you look at European countries or just even Wait, Canada, you they can don't do have both. the demand. You could yes, do, you can both. do both. You could ban fucking vigilante apps that that encourage armed paramilitary groups to roll around the streets of America, um, basically fucking causing turf wars between random fucking McMansion owners. I don't. I and don't think could, it's it's okay to call dis that paramilitary. That is though, paramilitary. But... Wait, what is your definition of paramilitary? I mean, because paramilitary has like a political like uh, you know underlying like force right you so call, does, like, wait you don't like, think what? that you don't think that citizen has an underlying political movement like has an underlying I mean, political like, ideology a company I mean, that, not the same way as like white like you know dude, white supremacist oh political my God. Wait, paramilitary wait, arms uh, right? wait paramilitaries aren't just white wait paramilitaries aren't just white supremacist groups like no, blackwater is a paramilitary a difference between no a white there isn't no, there isn't. That, like actively trains. No, and there wants isn't. White supremacist state and a, and a Uber like you know citizen what's the, that what's that, the you difference? Know, offers security services. Can you tell me what the difference I mean, is between those two? I mean, what this. I mean, the, the mass massive difference is that one is organized along a political line 
that wants to you know overthrow a democratic society one is you know just and the other one might, the, the might as well might be exactly the same you don't get to know what their intentions are because they're a corporation they can do whatever the fuck that want in yeah, fact exactly. their founders no, but, might have the exact same their founders might be members of those paramilitary groups and no, guess no, what but, inevitably wait a second yeah. wait a second yeah. inevitably as uh, we know from this from statistics about the police we already know there's a huge overlap in state police with white supremacist groups with neo-nazi groups neo-confederate groups you know there's a huge overlap we know that um the police by like a 70 percent like 70 percent majority support donald trump who supported a fucking insurrection to overthrow democracy that's the actual police what makes you think that the fucking private military groups that are going around to protect you when you're to quote unquote protect you from your from the criminals who want to steal your fucking shitty co starbucks coffee what makes you think those groups aren't going to literally just be paramilitaries wearing a a a, yeah. a, a corporate mask like don't be a, the are you are you a like this is what the I. Burden this is the burden of proof is on you, though. No, it's the burden of proof is to, not to on me. No, it is not. The per, the, no, your argument is saying that Uber and you know Lyft are just as much a potential to being you know a white wing you know paramilitary groups as citizen, right? Citizen no, is a not Uber. Uber because, Uber is a fucking taxi replacement, and there are different questions. But we're talking about you're talking about a police force, an armed police force. You do do you, are you are you literally going to come in here and try and tell me there's not a difference between Uber Eats, which delivers cheeseburgers? And there is a citizen. difference, but again, there's a massive difference. The, the, their their the difference job is different. Their intention is different. White... They're armed. Yeah. This is come on. This is ridiculous. You can't believe the, this. The, the main motivating factors factors for a citizen is a capitalist one. They're there to make a profit because they see an opportunity in the landscape of increased, you know, inequality. Massive that doesn't gun mean culture. that doesn't make they any difference. An yeah. How does that does make, make any difference. difference? Oh, oh, oops. They're monetizing their white supremacy instead of not monetizing it. That is, yeah, that, is only, that is nonsense. That is literal nonsense. You are speaking nonsense to me right now. And also, they're, this is the thing that drives me nuts. Are you, I mean, you, you so say you're is, like, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Your name you is, that to me? what's that? Do you identify as like a, like a neoliberal or a liberal? I identify as a socialist. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Well. What you are doing I mean, right I, now I, I is what, is what I tend to associate very strongly with a lot of liberals, which is that they're marks, they're dupes, they're stupid. They take they take everybody that walks in, every corporate idiot that walks in, they take them at face value. And they believe everything that they say. And they go, well, they're a corporation. They can't do anything wrong. Corporations don't do anything wrong. That's ridiculous. Do you do realize that you do realize that wait, 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 we've already had this problem in the past. You do realize that we had this issue with the Pinkertons. And by the way, the Pinkertons are fucking, they were, they became so controversial in the early 1900s that they became banned from working with the U.S. government at all. The U.S. government said, we refuse. We will not give any money. And to this day, that's the, the case. Now, sometimes we've that's gotten a to a point where argument. You're that is that not slippery slope. Slope. What, this, is, past, this is not a slippery slope. That is not what slippery this. slope means. What this, what, okay. this is literally pointing to the past and saying, we have been here before. We know what relaxing laws on private corporate owned paramilitary groups owned by multinational corporate we know what happens we have already okay. tested it. we've already seen it happen this is not a slippery slippery slope slope argument this is pointing to but, historical fact you, are you are you saying that every security force will end up like the pinkertons are you, is that what you're saying because that's a slippery slope right because there's no, a very clear cases I'm where saying security that this forces is a, this don't is a, end up that way this is an example of a company securitas by the way contains the pinkertons they bought the pinkertons so it's really interesting that you should say any that. other security because, right uh, because it's like, interesting a we've already got if, if this is a, like if that. this is a if this is a slippery slope we've already slipped down the slope my friend okay so are you just against private security force in general in i am all cases? i am very skeptical of private security forces but i am especially skeptical of subscription private security forces in in a in a period of history in which we acknowledge that there is rampant racial discrimination among our police force our police force functionally went on a nationwide riot and yes i would be willing to defend that with absolutely okay. absolute fact okay. so i think we're both in agreement that you know, overall the i don't think we're in we agreement at all I, well let me explain we both want fewer security forces okay we simply disagree on the tactics to get there 
I argue that we should focus on systematic poverty to reduce the need to have security forces. And ra you, rather than looking at systematic forces, Wrong. you want to have incorrect a quick banning. In incorrect. And, you, know, and, you are and lying. Using government power. You to are absolutely those ends. and and, but you're, and you're more authoritarian in your, I'm in your not, measures. That's I'm not. More that's not more authoritarian or less authoritarian. You are just saying buzzwords to sound smart. But that you is want not to ban things. I would and I love. Want to yes. Policies. Yes. Wait a second. Yeah. Right now, in the current state of America, there are lots of things that are banned. Would I love for us to get to a, uh, a, a anarchist state free society absolutely we're not there yet we're not even close and no, right we now we don't need to be there all we, we need is like we don't we are not going to you are not going to excuse me excuse me you had your turn it's i mean turn. It's, it's it's not a utopian you know like a you are like, you are pushing what, you are saying oh we shouldn't we shouldn't hurt the fifis of the of the of the private security companies because um we should focus on systemic change because, systemic because change that we, optics, excuse yes. me excuse me systemic change that we can't even get through because the republicans have been playing hardball for the last fucking 40 years and they will continue to do this we're not getting through any fucking po poverty relief i don't know if you've been sleeping for the last 5 years or if you've been asleep for the entire pandemic but this the the, the government did not exactly help alleviate poverty so in the meantime i think it would be very important that we prevent companies like this from existing because if they don't they are going to worsen the state of affairs okay. and you are so, so concerned okay. with with pol with with so-called optics which by the way you can you can't just say the word optics and th and 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 arg and say oh that's that's what it is it's optics it's not it has nothing to do that has nothing to do with optics what do you mean fucking optics you, you okay, wait, wait wait so you just said we can't you know we can't um enact anti-poverty legislation because we don't have the power to do so but somehow you think socialists have the power to you know enact bans on private corporations the way you like it I, right? no 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 in, in, i i, I, would argue I don't both think cases excuse me are, excuse me you asked me a question unlikely, right? you asked me a question so if, I'm, if, I'm going to answer okay, the question you asked me a question now i'm going to answer it no you don't need a po posture or anything okay so you asked me a question which is do you think socialists will have the ability to pass legislation that bans private militaries uh private military police replacement it, apps uh, no, I don't. I, excuse me. I'm talking. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't believe that socialists have that power. But do you know who I do think does? General Americans. And I think that general Americans can recognize that having a, 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 a call my private security button is not a good idea. In fact, I think we can convince them of that pretty well. In fact, I think that most Democrats would be open to rec to seeing the uh, this app and going, oh shit, that's fucking dystopian and weird. We should not allow yeah, this. It is dystopian. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But again, I just... We just disagree on tactics. I don't. Think no, it's you a, don't it's disagree on tactics. Measure. You, you, I, I don't think you're being fully honest here. Now you might be, but I have a suspicion that you're not being fully honest with your intentions here, because there's nothing that stops us from working towards systemic alleviation of poverty that doesn't also that while also saying no, we cannot allow in our current state fa literal fascists to create a backup standing fucking paramilitary. Wait, do you have group. evidence that Citizen is a fascist organization? Like I'd love to see. No, that. I don't, but I have inference, and I think that I can points to a couple of philosophical okay. approaches that that point out that this is indeed a very fascist leaning group first of all all black cars a, a a giant eyeball logo indicating that they watch at all times telling you that they're an angel on your shoulder that will always watch you and protect you from harm it, uh, they have a vested interest in in making crime appear to be as bad as possible they have a, a vested interest in fear mongering to make things as bad as possible so people will subscribe to their app. And then they are sending in armored guards to roll into neighborhoods that they believe have high crime, which, oh, as we know, because we're not, I mean, most of us here aren't stupid. I don't know if you're just being like intentionally uh, like obtuse, but we all know that, that, that black, that neighborhoods of minorities, black neighborhoods, Latino neighborhoods are predominantly over policed which means that this is going to continue and get worse okay well, and, i mean this is gonna be okay. and Go, we I already mean, know what? that the turnover rate for police going into private security is real bad so a policeman does something fucking tra horrible like shoot a, an innocent black guy and then they get hired by a private security firm which is okay. now going to be going into neighborhoods to do the exact same thing they were just doing but with less accountability and you can't vote on it this is horrible this is disastrous yeah it is horrible but like the way you're framing it as like you know, a, a private corporation that like offers security private uh, like services is a fascist organization. Yes. Like, this is of, yes. This is a type of like language no. like no. like no 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 no. I'm sorry. The left, right? No no. I'm when sorry. You're an idiot. You're I'm, no no no. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. You're an idiot on this. Right I disagree you're with giving you. Giving ammunition to wrong you know, all the fucking wrong. I think you're fucking stupid. When you, when you I, say stuff like excuse that. Excuse me. Let, 
do you know anything about fucking fascist? Do you know anything about history? Have you ever even started? Yes, I do. Have you ever researched private, Nazi Germany? Like, do you want to know one of the things I, that happened? There was absolutely. Have you researched, for, you know, fascist Spain under Franco? Have you researched like Mussolini? Like, yes, I have. To me that, yes, I have. Oh, and guess what? Like, secret uh, police. Excuse me. Excuse me. Secret, secret, like, unaccountable armed police forces were used constantly they're used constantly by fascists so you just don't know what you're talking about you don't yeah, understand not the words force. that you're talking it's a about private security agency with limited powers under the law that is it not have the same it does not it doesn't have, have the same legal powers oh wait wait it has limited it has the, uh oh NIPD. wait a second you just you just you just fucking appealed to the law the thing i'm saying we need to amend to make sure that they can't do this you just fucked up. You just fucked up Why? your own argument. Are, you said that the different. Wait, 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 wait. The stop. Stop. Please force, stop. Please stop. This is so ridiculous. You just came in here and you just said that the thing that separates the fucking secret police and various paramilitary groups, which in every single fascist country, paramilitary groups, private security forces were all the fuck over the place. They abounded. You just said that the only thing that separates the secret police from our, from, from security companies is that we have laws that restrict them. You just made my argument. So I, I will accept your defeat at this point if you wish to cede your position and, and amend your position. Alternately, you're so, wasting my time. You, you know, like in fascist Spain, for example, there was a monopoly over like, you know, uh, violence and the police force, right? There was not a multitude of private security forces that were doing mm. the bidding of the state, right? Okay. Like, I, I don't know why you're, why you think that's what, Can that's you what tell happened. me, are you, re, are you rescinding your argument then? Because uh, that is, that has nothing no, to not, do with what we're talking about here. That has literally you know, nothing I, to do with what I just asked what, you. What my argument was is that you shouldn't, you know, call a citizen a fascist organization because that doesn't help the cause of of, of leftists in arguing for the re, like reducing. No, I absolutely think it does. I think that being, forces. No. I think. Wait, no, listen. I think that not being a dupe and pointing out things as they are and not being a fucking coward to call things what they are does not hurt the left. I think that being like, oh, I wouldn't want to. You hurt, have no I evidence that they're a fascist organization. Me. Wait a second. So you're the one wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Right now. I absolutely do. Mis wait a second. Do you believe? Hold on a second. You're, Do you wait? Stop! Right? Stop! This, You're an YouTube idiot. Could ban you for this? No, it can't. Yes. And no, it they, will not. You have no information that citizen is a right wing a fascist group, and by saying that, I mean it's misinformation on the internet. No, it isn't misinformation on the internet. Yes, I am it is. Excuse me. I am very clear about my opinion and why I believe the things that I believe. I, I mean, believe but you don't have any evidence, and you just I said do a have evidence. I just I, I did not say they were a fascist organization. I believe I said that they. Uh, I mean, maybe I said something along those lines. But but it but it that doesn't that's neither here nor there. That is my opinion, and I have a reason for why I back it up. And I do have multiple reasons. I pointed those out, which you conveniently ignored, and then you made an appeal to the law, the very thing I'm saying should be amended to prevent these organizations from being worse. Fascism is a problem, okay? Fascism is a real thing. And people like you like to close your eyes and pretend, oh, nothing bad can ever happen here. And then you go and you make the arguments against the very things that we put in place to stop fascism. We have rule of law. We have procedure. We have institution. Because these things tend to slow the, the, the power grabs that are associated with fascism. Now, I don't think it's perfect. In fact, I have a lot of problems with, with the institutionalization of the United States. But I can recognize that stripping away institutional regulations that pre prevent the uh, power grabs, that prevent uh, the repression of, of c civilians is not going to help us against fascism. And I do believe that organizations that use fucking Punisher-esque, literally 1984-esque images can be oh easily... Can, can, absolutely! Are you fucking kidding me? That these right. can absolutely be described as as fascist organizations. In fact, I would argue that a lot of a lot of sections of the police are very arguable as fascist organizations. They are organizations that support um, a they they their members loudly and obviously sometimes in an official capacity. Can you fix your mic? Your mic is like blowing fan into it. Can you fix your mic? Thank you. Jesus Christ. Um, or organizations that have members who openly and in uniform espouse uh, hyper-patriarchal, hyper-nationalistic, hyper-racial supre supre uh, supremacist viewpoints uh, at, at, at constant times. They're literal leaders of, or, of, of, uh, of um, 
police forces that will speak out using fascist talking points. We have a problem with the police actively killing minorities extrajudicially. We have a massive problem with the police cracking down on free protest. So now you're, you're just pivoting onto different I'm items. not pivoting. I'm pointing force. out that you're- We're not talking about citizens I'm, anymore. I'm, I'm pr pointing out that there are, that just because an organization doesn't put fascist in its name, that you shouldn't be a dupe. You should be able to point out when an organization's core philosophy is fascist in nature. And what you're saying is, oh, I should sue you. Oh, oh I hope YouTube, I hope YouTube you takes down your video. You're a citizin You're a coward and a dupe. In a similar way to Mussolini? Yes, I absolutely can. Um, absolutely. Citizen is a private corporation that maintains a armed paramilitary group under under the guise of 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 uh, how is it paramilitary excuse can you me that to me? excuse me yes i can't explain that to you it is a non-state entity it is a art a questionably legal entity it exists in a in a legal gray zone like many other mercenary groups do it it just it uses it's not a mercenary group like it's just sick. it's a private security it's force, literally like... are you are you for real like are, are you serious about any of these topics or is this just trolling to you i mean no i just I, all i hear from you is like virtue selling this as is like not this, like, Wait, wait. Uh, of, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go any further, right? before you go any further, before you go any further, define virtue signaling for me. I mean, you're no, no, no. Define it. So you're, yeah, I'm defining. So what you're doing is you're signaling that you are against fascism and you overuse fascism to appease your base. Wrong. You're, the fact that is not. That, that is. That is not a definition. The, the content of, of the first discussion. of all, that is not a definition of virtue signaling. Define what virtue I'm also signaling means. I'm anti-fascist, but I. But it, I no, use stop. In stop. Very please ways. define virtue like signaling. If you're going to come onto my show and accuse me of virtue signaling, define virtue signaling. So again, virtue signaling, like especially in the context we're, we're talking about, is when you talk about something just for the fact of you know appealing to a base rather than being something okay. that so, lead to concrete so, changes in society, right? Okay. So when you virtue signal against this private corporation as a fascist thing, you're not actually interested in changing the nature of the organization. That you're is not, not interested. You're, that you're is just, not. That is not. In, no, no. Nope, stop. Your stop. That stop. You're I'm going to mute you. I'm going to mute you. Everyone Don't make do me that. mute you. Don't make me mute you, okay? You had your point to try and define it, and you failed to show how I was doing anything. I gave specific in my not only in my ep, in my segment that I did on this, but in this conversation, I have given specific reasons for why I think this organization is dangerous, should be illegal, and is fascistic in nature. And what you do is you ignore every single one of those points, and then you say the words virtue signaling, and everybody has seen you do this. You've literally is, ignored is a, is the actual arguments because industry? because you are that because no 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 listen produce, I'm you know, talking now okay I'm talking now okay you are a dupe you are the type of person who I, and and I'll be completely honest I don't believe that you are actually a socialist and I might be wrong you could just be a very dumb socialist but yeah, I, think is, that, I think that I think excuse me every, excuse oh, me all right I'm muting you I'm muting you I'm muting you I'm gonna mute you here we go you're muted okay I believe that. You came in here and said you're a socialist because that makes it that makes it seem like you're being funny and you can do your little nose tapping. But the arguments you've made here don't seem pro-socialism. You've made an argument that basically no, we shouldn't we shouldn't make this illegal because we should do uh we should do oh um institutional change, which I agree with and I talk about 24 fucking 7 on this channel. Not that you care about that because you're just trying to waste time. And you're trying to play defense for an organization that is that is putting its own armed police alternative onto our streets. That's fucked. Okay? That's fucked. Now, I'm going to unmute you. So, if you can handle yourself, we'll talk again. Okay? All right. Are you good? You're going to be good? I will be a good little boy if you want good. me to. Yeah. But, again, I, it's, I, yeah, I, I find it a bit I'll unfortunate. Fucking, I'll fucking I do, call the police on you. I do like your content, person. but yeah. I just I I do believe that sometimes you be, you're you're very divisive divisive within the left and you're sectarian, especially when it comes to these issues, right? Where, how what am I we're sectarian? Discussing here, it's a, we're look. No 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 no, 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 no please please please. Wrong if you're going to throw things at and me, explain how I'm sectarian. You're sectarian because you see another another socialist that has a different tactic with the same outcome, and you say that they're not a socialist. No, right? I just so believe I just don't. I'm, me from no, no, the no, 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 wrong. Because I'm I have not a different excluding tactic you. when we have the same outcome and the same post scarcity. Goals. Oh my God! Stop! You're being such a whiny medicine. victim right now. I'm not telling you you can't be a socialist. I'm calling your bluff, and I'm saying I don't think you are. 
Okay, so there's you don't a, there's think a big I'm a difference because I yeah I never said you couldn't be a socialist. I don't yeah. fucking care. So, no, me, I can't stop I, anybody. What do you think I am, the it, fucking pope? I just I just want to understand what you're thinking. So you you think I'm not a socialist because I have a different tactic to you to achieve no, a socialist I think, outcome? I think you're not right? a socialist. What's not no, 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 socialist wrong. about wait, wanting to wait. alleviate income oh inequality? Oh my god. And you and you, you ask a question the and then you don't ever let me answer. You just go on to fucking ramble. You said. I don't think you're a socialist for some random reason. No, that's not the reason why. I don't think you're a socialist because a lot of the arguments you've made here are fucking asinine. And no socialist that I know would make arguments that stupid. Again, so you disagree with me because of my yeah. tactics. No, no, no. I disagree yeah. with you. Be no, I disagree with you because you've made your arguments poorly. And I don't think you're a socialist because I haven't heard you making any socialist points. Now, I could be wrong. You absolutely could be a socialist. I could be just totally wrong. I did say very explicitly um, that that I that it is possible that you're a, just a dumb socialist. And it is possible you're a dumb socialist. There's a lot of dumb socialists out there. But I don't get what you're talking about. You haven't actually t okay. talked about any tactics. You've just said, oh, we shouldn't ban this because um because that would be bad optics. And I'm like, you don't think that the optics of like having I mean, having yeah. I mean, of I would America agree. I mean, having I, having if citizen, corporations, if the that, board of governors of, of citizen or their shareholders or some someone in their executive is has clear ties to their white supremacist, white supremacist agenda, and the, the you the mean like the police against racialized minorities because of, of a racist you mean view like that, the police you know, the in America? Has, then maybe maybe we should consider banning them. But for now, they're a private corporation. Just like any other, like you know, security corporations, and they I didn't realize. I'm rich, sorry, I, I, rich people, I didn't realize that right? being a socialist and, means being a being a, a fucking ANCAP who doesn't want to who who doesn't believe that the government should step on on private military groups with horrific bloody histories. Group. Yes, it is. You do realize no. that Securitas is a massive mega corporation that literally owns. First of all, they are literally a private security group, and they are militarized. They use they okay. use fucking. So every other private security is also a military pair, pair whatever you think. It I mean, is. not like, all of them. What, some of them. What some differentiates some, between some, citizen wait, some, and the, the hundreds of other private security companies out there? Wait, are they all also like paramilitary groups and mil and that have like neo Nazis in them? Like many of them do. Yes, many of them do. Yes, yes, many of them do. Yes, actually, many of them do, and that is a problem. However, okay, not so, all. So you not just advocate all banning all security forces that you know might. No, have I didn't advocate that. Why would you? Why would you fucking have a straw man? Because your fucking shit ass okay, argument clarify, fell apart then. in five seconds. I don't believe they should clarify. all be. I don't necessarily believe that all security forces should be banned. I do believe that we should be way more harsh in our regulation. I happen to know, and you know, here's a little bit of a here's a little bit of an anecdote, Andy moment. Okay, but uh, my best friend has worked for security companies for the last decade. Okay, I know what goes on inside of them. I know what types of people work there. I know the way that they're treated. I know how the internals of this work. My best friend worked for Securitas specifically for fucking five years. I know this shit. I'm not fucking stupid. Uh, I don't. I don't get the feeling you've ever even looked into this shit. But you so got a huge you know opinion exactly about from it. your friend's anecdote. Do you, Dude, you know because you have no. One you want to know? Here, let me wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you. This isn't even an anecdote. Okay, this isn't even an anecdote. Do you know that internally? Uh, Securitas uses military ranks instead of say, calling people managers. They use military ranks. They have fake military ranks. They literally okay. act like a paramilitary. I, I don't group. know if that's true, but even if that's that true, is true, go fucking look it up. Okay, so I mean, if you replace you know associate deputy with you know sergeant, you are in denial. That doesn't make sense. This is a, denial. A group. You are in fucking what? denial right now. You don't. You are refusing to acknowledge that these companies are largely unaccountable they're increasingly armed they're every single year they're buying more heavy equipment they're yeah, taking they're, more what, space they're, they're being business, excuse, me, excuse, me, excuse, me, excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me i was in a sentence okay every single year they take more space they expand more they move into new areas they buy more military equipment they buy more yeah, armor they want and growth. they continue to act as a military they don't act like a corporation inside you're a lieutenant you're a sergeant they are setting themselves up they're tapping their nose and going we're a corporation bro we're a corporation bro as they literally have intelligence divisions as they buy up uh literal in world infamous strike breakers who were banned from working with the united states because of how many fucking american citizens yeah. they killed the pinkertons Security. which is now owned by are, have, yeah you know are terrible things i agree with you yes and I, and, I don't know. and you have come in here to argue in uh, to specifically and explicitly argue against any legislation that would regulate the power of a corporation that is trying to you to work with securitas yes, and I have other tactics than you that yes. is not just a matter of different I tactics. Believe that we should 
you we should no, make okay. private corporations and uh, security uh, corporations obsolete by removing the necessity to have them in the first place. How That's do you a way remove better that? Long term. How? It's a more sustainable oh, policy, oh, right? Oh, oh my God. Why didn't I just think of that? Oh, and, shit. And oh, my agents. God. Why didn't I think of just removing poverty five head? Oh, shit. Oh, I wish Wait. I had thought of that myself. Yeah. If I, only yeah. I could have thought, where's Thanos when you need him? I don't know why you're not him? thinking about that. Where's Thanos like, when example, you need him to, in, to Thanos snap away all of the poor people in the world? Yeah. Oh, that would be so, so for, easy. Are you stupid? For example, are you, are you, in like, France are you and actually Canada, stupid? Way, no, no, no. Very no, lower look. levels of poverty and income inequality, and they have less, you know, security forces per capita because of it. So their policy is. Do you think that's the only reason? Or wait a second. If I look this up, if I look up. It's one of, wait, one excuse of me, excuse reasons, me, yes. excuse me. If I look up Sweden and France, and I find out that they have restrictive laws on private military corporations and on private security, you're gonna look like a real fucking dumbass right now. You're gonna what look do you like mean a restricted laws? you're gonna yes, you're it, gonna look like a fucking countries. dumbass. I bet you I would be willing to bet money right now that if I okay, go so and look into wait a second, hold on a second. If I go and look into fe, fr, French law and Swedish and Swedish law on private security, yes, I know. In fact, I know for a fact, because I know that they have regulation on their own police. They don't even give their police guns. Every country has regulation on private security. I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah, I bet it's stronger oh, yeah. than ours. I bet it's way stronger, stronger than ours. I bet it's way so, more yeah. harsh. So I bet, I bet, I bet in France it won't be illegal. Excuse me, I'm not done. I wasn't done. I know, you're, I know you're panicking, but I'm not I wasn't panicking. done. You are. It's like okay. obvious in your voice. Now, oh I happen to know that, uh. and I'd be, again, I'd be willing to bet this. But that you would not be able to make a corporation like Citizen in France or in Sweden. Okay. Because they probably have laws that forbid that sort of behavior. And guess what? It's a part I mean, I doubt it. preventing, preventing uh, unaccountable law enforcement, armed law enforcement agencies. Right. Is, so uh, let me tell you something. The United States compared to other developed countries has the highest amount of income inequality. Mm -hmm. When you have income inequality, it introduces psychosocial stress in communities. And the outcome of that is to militarize everyone into, you know, is that true? Propagate fear propaganda in terms of crime. Yes. Like when you have gated communities and no, no, wait, is it true that the U S has the highest income inequality? Yes, I thought, it is. I thought the across... highest was like Saudi Arabia where there's like, no, I'm talking about developed o o OECD countries. OECD. I'm pretty sure Saudi Arabia even has, like less of an income inequality in the United States, or it's probably somewhere in the same ballpark. But my point is that ah, income inequality, especially in France, within a community setting, and in, in this a just came in. One of our French one of our French one of our French callers just 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 popped in. In France, we have laws on private security. I used to work in private security in France. Guards that check your house after a break in. Uh, due to an alarm, can only carry a flashlight and are not authorized to fight, only to report and then check the yes. alarm alarm system. I've already said that the United States has the most criminalized private security forces. Yes, and so, so you're so again, yes. you you have you have backpedaled. That's, that's because you have of income inequality. A single thing. If you have huge amounts of income inequality, the like people will get more militarized, well, which listen, is what happens in the United States. Unlike, the United States has un unlike huge liberalized gun markets and gun culture unlike, because of the income inequality it's because it's of not wait it's not because have. of wait you it is not it's just, a big it's, it's a big predicting like, variable yes it, it is. is no no it is not it is not it is not just income inequality that leads to to fucking ar arms proliferation in the united states there's like a billion a big part of it no it is not do you think poor people own lots of guns no it is not. It is rich. Even gun. studies within the United stop. States prove this. Stop. If, if you just, look at just, studies just within the United stop. States, stop. Please, just stop for a second. Have stop bullshitting for a second. Please. The high, uh, highest amounts of gun ownership are you know, in the most unequal regions. You're, you're, what you're, what you're doing right now is you're, you're, you're lying, because. Guns. I'm not lying. I'm guns. Saying, excuse I'm me. Honest, excuse like, me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Like, please, time. for the love. Of okay, I'm muting you again. Uh, this is really easy. I'm muting you again. Okay, you're muted now, so you can enjoy sitting in silence because you are not. You are not being a good boy, even though you promised to be a good boy. That means no treaty treats for you. Okay. Um, instead, you get to sit in in the mute room. Okay. Because, do you know what's interesting about America? Guns cost money, so legal gun ownership is most predominant among rich people who can afford guns poor people don't have guns they especially don't have guns legally so you're just full of shit the idea that you can just thanos snap poverty away and fix every problem is a pipe dream utopian nonsense for children 
And I would highly recommend rethinking a lot of your positions that rely on Thanos snapping away poverty. Okay? I'm going to unmute you now and let you have a last word before I have to go to my panel. Okay? All right. You're, you're unmuted now. All right. I, you know, I agree with you that, you know, that we have differences in tactics. And so you have a more you know, an agenda that pre that prefers policies that are more authoritative and involve banning from the government perspective. I think it's better to focus on solutions that are systematic and lead to long-term, you know, benefits to society instead of short-term reactionary ones that don't deal with the underlying problem. Excellent. And I, I hope that you would be more, less divisive in the future when you're talking to socialists. I know you think I'm not a socialist. I'm just here to troll you. But I've been yeah. watching your stuff for many months. Well, that's good. And... You know, I'll continue to watch you because I think, you know, uh, twi the t Twitch world and the, the streaming world is good for socialists. And there's been a lot of you know, movement in that in the past years. But, you know, good luck with your uh, your uh, panel. Thanks. And hopefully we can have more discussions in the future. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Uh, all right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, authoritarian demon mama uh, wants to, to uh, wants to do the highly authoritarian act of saying of regulating private fucking private security forces um that was <sighs> who boy yeah the tanky mama arc apparently apparently arguing that um yeah maybe we shouldn't allow private corporations to literally try and replace the police when we already have absolutely disgusting problems with the police is not a good idea jesus christ oh my god it's authoritarian to pass regulations in the system that exists. I think we should just keep our hands off. Oh, listen, those private prisons. Oh, those private concentration camps. Oh. Fuck me, dude. Holy shit. Fuck me. All right, we got to get ready for this fucking panel. We